Okay, we're rolling again. Cool. Let's go. We're recording. Uh, yeah, welcome to Open Labs. Um, so, as as you stated before, we we have been active for six years now, and we celebrated uh, our birthday like a month ago. Mm-hmm. Um, it started in a much small, smaller place than this. Right. It was uh, like a very experimental, experimental place. Um, and the first time I came there, the, it was a, uh, there was a documentary being given, being uh, shown mm-hmm. about the Pirate Bay. I remember, mm-hmm. um, which was my first encounter and. I, I thought it was really interesting. Uh, then there were other activities going on, like playing around with hardware, like 3D printers and well, translations on Wikipedia, which also were interesting. Um, yeah. So this was back then, six years ago. Yeah. yeah. Right. And how, how did you first come to um, Open Labs? How did you first come to know that it existed? Uh, you mean how how I found out? Yeah. Or a friend of mine told me, mm-hmm. uh, Elio told me to come check this place out. You know, they do like very niche things like translating and watching documentaries. In uh, well, it was. Kind of, you know, when when I first went there, uh, people were very open, and we used to sit on wood pallets and watch the movies and have a coffee. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, it was from a, from a friend at the at the wood beginning. Pallets. So it was kind of very rustic sort of atmosphere. Yeah, it was very experimental, like. Uh, Dory was a guy who who decorated the place, mm-hmm. and uh, he he is good at doing that with whatever he can find. So yeah, it was a, it was like a very authentic uh, environment. Right, mm-hmm. right. Yeah, now we have like a more stable uh, place mm-hmm. where. This is where like everything happens, when Oscar happens, here we organize Oscar. What is Oscar? Oscar is, uh, is our once in a year conference where we bring out all the projects we are working on and uh, give people give presentations, talk about open source, uh, what, what their project is, related on some specific topics. We have been always open to any any kind of uh, of presentation. Uh, I don't remember we have rejected any presentations. So yeah, uh, Oscar has been organized for five years now. It's usually it's usually done in May. Mm-hmm. Every May. What does it stand for? The uh, Open Source Conference of Bay. Oh, right, right. So do people come from all over Albania? Uh, no, they come... Most of our speakers are... They come from all over the world. Yeah. America, Netherlands, Europe in general. Okay, okay. And I, I noticed as well that there is a big um, focus on open source in this hackerspace. Can you tell me more about the projects that are going on here? Yeah, uh, for example, we, we've been working with Wikipedia where we are, we are translating, uh, giving the Albanian Wikipedia a more, uh, like, uh, making, making the information in Albania better or trans- translating uh, new information. Because compared to English Wikipedia, Albanian was pretty poor at the beginning. Uh, the the volunteering was in a in a min- minimum stage, mm-hmm. but uh, organizing projects here and there. For example, we we make a uh, Wikipedia weekend every year, where 
all the Wikipedians in, from all over the place come and contribute. They teach people how to contribute, or they make working uh, workshop uh, workshop uh, activities on translating. Mm. So how does this work? Is, is there like an active working group um, here that organizes these events? Yeah, the events are organized from members. Right now we are about from 30 members uh, in, in total. 30 members involved in the Wikipedia project? Uh, no. Some of them are involved in Wikipedia, some others are involved in OpenStreetMap, for example, Fedora, LibreOffice, uh, Mozilla, even. Like, there are a lot of projects going on, for example, Mozilla, Mozilla Tech Speaker, where uh, we try to teach people how to make their presentations in technological themes better and become more commun communicative with the audience. Uh, also, OpenStreetMap, we've done a lot of editing and in the field editing, for example. Uh, I, I would say it needs a lot of work, but it has been getting better and better uh, to run on the now. Mm -hmm. And uh, can anybody join in? Yeah, I mean, everybody is open to come and contribute. We make uh, events once in a month or once in two months in editathons or uh, workshops where they can be advanced or beginner, you know. It's not so hard to, I mean, you get the, the process mm -hmm. at, the, at the first stages, I mean, yeah. Right, right, okay. And uh, I think when we, chat, we had a chat the last time, that we mentioned that there's uh, a lot of young people in this hackerspace compared to the others that both of us have been to. Could you? Yeah, pretty interesting fact. Yeah. yeah. How did that happen? Uh, I don't know. I mean, even I have not thought about it because only people who come here can notice that, you know. I'm, I'm used to coming in here and finding everybody. But uh, it's, it's a great advantage that we have new people coming in and uh, contributing to whatever they find pleasure into. Um, I think Albanian youth, uh, some of them are interested on, on technology. We have a lot of uh, people uh, studying for, for tech, some engineering or informatics. And uh, I think people who are here are passionate on, on working with whatever they find themselves in. Mm -hmm. For example, I don't know, uh, I don't know if I should tell you why the young people are involved or, or why old people don't get, I don't know if I should say old, but, uh, yeah. You could say both. Yeah, you could tell me both, yeah. Um, I, I don't know why old people don't get involved so much. But uh, we get a lot of, uh, I, I suppose it's because to, uh, getting into open source has been a very new thing in Albania. Mm -hmm. I mean, it started, started six years ago, probably, or, well, let's say eight, the, the involvement of individual parties, you know, someone was contributing in Wikipedia, someone in OpenStreetMap, but they were never joined together in one place to to organize something bigger than just an individual uh, contribution. So now that this thing became organized and people saw that this thing works, you know, and new projects coming in, uh, you you understand that there is also an open source option for everything you've been working on, like a map or uh, an encyclopedia or your web browser, you know. Mm -hmm. So 
Um, yeah, I think uh, I think this was all. All this results into into uh, young people being more drawn to it. Mm. What, what about um, other than the open source uh, software projects? What about hardware? Do you guys focus on hardware? Uh, we we have had some some projects at the beginning. Uh, for example, um, it was funny because uh, the first project I got involved in was, I don't know if it's funny, but it's just, uh, the first project I got involved in was 3D printing, and we had a 3D printer where we were trying to figure out, we were trying to put it to work, and we finally did, um, then we were working on 3D scanner, on the 3D scanner to make it uh, like an accessory of the 3D printer. And with that, we went and uh, we, we participated in Startup Life Tirana, which was a program then. And as Open Labs, uh, we went there and presented our project. It was like a, a project which was focused on scanning new buildings and there were uh, and the spots where heat was more uh, possible to be released, where the, the thermal isolation was not at its best, mm -hmm. and you could scan the building and find out uh, cool spots mm -hmm. and make a better isolation. And yeah, that was a very interesting experience for for everyone involved. Also me, uh, where we got like uh, best technological program uh, project. Or yeah, and there was a startup program. Yeah, did, did you guys start a startup after that? With um, this technology? No, I mean we we only presented the idea, but uh, there was uh, there were like five places and. We were just, uh, the idea of the, a technological project uh, was, this was the most interesting, I would say, but uh, there, w there wasn't a big support from them after that. I mean, we didn't have any resources to build something with it. We were given free domains, I think, or something, which was cool, but... Uh, yeah, but right now there is not a lot of hardware going on, I would say. Uh, I wish we could do more. We have a 3D printer we use a lot. Uh, print whatever, whatever we find on... Yeah. I don't know it I think it was, yeah. Right, right, okay. Uh, yeah. A lot of Cool activities happen here. For example, we I mean every every project or conference or event we organize it's it's all organized here at this table and when if you come during Oscar there is posted notes everywhere mm -hmm. and it looks like the guy from Beautiful Minds came here and like right, right. written on the walls. Uh, but yeah um, some of the projects are Wikipedia Weekend, as I said, Oscar is the main year event. Uh, there is some OpenStreetMap, Editathons, uh, Mozilla Tech Speakers. Mm -hmm. There's also a Code Week, uh, Code Week program right. uh, where we go to rural, rural parts of uh, Albania and give uh, presentations about coding in different schools which are far away and can get the information mm -hmm. from their own uh, institutions, it's studying cool. institutions. Yeah, that's a, that's a very good program. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know the, 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 the project where you go to the rural schools. It sounds, it sounds actually something very, very interesting. But uh, within 
tyranny itself is is there um, does the municipality or the government in, in general provide any support to the hackerspace or is there any collaboration uh, with other organizations let's say with the big companies um, no government is not uh, part of the support, uh, let's say, for the hackerspace. And, uh, Open Labs is a non-profit organization and it's self-funded uh, from any project we make that supports us with whatever they can. Uh, like, if we, I mean, it is, it is supported, uh, from from the community, uh, we also have Patreon, a Patreon account, you know, Open Labs, and we also started a campaign on a crowdfunding on Indiegogo. So yeah, whoever uh, wants to support us can can find a way there. Um, yeah and. Every every event that we organize, every profit goes to support the hackerspace, mm -hmm. and, you know, rent and whatever. Mm -hmm. So most most events would happen right here, rather than um, let's say in uh, somewhere else, like in another city, no, no, like, like Tirana, or yeah, let's say let's say in in some uh, events elsewhere, they they would sometimes get some of the big companies to host them, like if there would be a space and auditorium or something. Ah. Yeah. Does that kind of support happen here? Well, uh, this year we got uh, very big support from the municipality for the venue of Oscar. Um, sorry. Uh, we, we got the Pyramid of Tirana to be the, the venue for Oscar. This year, isn't, isn't the pyramid kind of yeah ruined? It, yeah, it is. It is on ruins, but they the municipality makes events there from time to time, and we we kind of managed uh, to make it look uh, nice at the at the entrance, and of course the the rest of the building is is unused, and they are trying to restore it. Uh, to make it like a tech environment, innovation environment in the future. Mm -hmm. But right now they're uh, giving it as uh, a venue for, for events. And uh, we, have making, we have been making a lot of collaborations with the municipality during the last years. For example, uh, one, a project we are... We, that supports us and we also promote it in Open Labs is Nextcloud, which is an open source um, cloud. Like you can host your own data and mm -hmm. fun fact, the German government right now is using Nextcloud as its, uh, as its uh, data cloud oh, thing. Okay. Yeah. And uh, right now the municipality is also, we uh, introduced it to them, they really liked the idea. And since then we have been working also to get uh, the geodata of Tirana mm. and apply them to OpenStreetMap so that the, the map could be more specific, more uh, precise. Yeah, and it's uh, the the collaboration with the municipality has been very fruitful on both sides. Uh, yeah, but so we, yeah, we can say we have a, a very a good, good relationship with them. Yeah. Okay, and. Um, so I think that's pretty much about it. Is, is there anything else you might want to tell our audience about this space? Uh, well, if you ever come by in Tirana, we'd be welcome to give you a, 
you'd, you'd be welcome to, to come here anytime and see what we do. Uh, we can show you also nice places in town and uh, you can give a presentation or speak about what you are doing. Uh, tell us a bit more about your story. Um, so yeah. Um, Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so much. Thank you. Thank you.